When it comes to backing up and restoring SharePoint, pretty straightforward. If you take a look here in central administration, you'll notice there is a section called backup and restore. And we can go ahead and click on perform a backup. And it now takes us into perform a backup. You'll see here it says step one of two, select the component to back up. Okay, so you'll see here there is no backup or restore in progress. Okay, so we don't need to worry about that right now, but we need to take a look at what components do we want to back up? Okay, so if we wanna back up the farm, let's say, you know, the entire farm, just check that box. And you'll notice it checks everything underneath it. But if we wanted to only do certain pieces of it, let's say like global search settings, you'll notice I checked that box and that's all that we get is just the global search settings. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's say we wanna back up the farm and click next. Now it takes us to step two of two, selecting your backup options. So the first thing here is you have your backup component. Okay, this is the top level item you've chosen to back up, right? The farm. Next, we have our backup type. So we get to choose whether we wanna do a full or differential. And of course, the difference being full is everything and differential backs up only changes since the last full backup. Okay, and I just wanna bring one piece of clarity here. There is another type of backup that you may be familiar with. It's called incremental. Okay, and that is where it literally does increments of backups, whereas differential backs up everything that has changed since the last full backup, even if you did another differential in between. All right, so that is what the choices are as far as that goes. Backup only configuration settings. We can choose either backup content and configuration or the configuration only. And I'm gonna actually do that. I'm gonna say backup my configuration only. And then I need to give a backup location. All right, so it's saying to maybe point to some kind of a shared location where we would go ahead and run that backup to. So I have a shared folder that I created out on my domain controller, actually. So if I go to LHDC1, I have a folder called SharePoint Backup. And if I want to run this backup, all I have to do is click Start Backup. And now you can see that it will show you the status. It shows me that it's currently in progress. From this point, we basically have to just click on refresh and keep refreshing until this process finishes. And it took a couple minutes, but we now see that the readiness says no backup or restore in progress. And also down near the bottom phase says completed. All right, so if I go back to the backup and restore section under central administration, you'll see here that I could then choose to restore from a backup. And I wanna verify that there's nothing in progress, there's not. All I have to do is give it a location. Okay, so this is the location of where I had it. And then they're showing me that I have one backup that's there. So I would need to select it and then click next. And now you'll notice that that was actually only step one of three, even though it didn't say it. So now we're on step two of three. What do we want to restore? Do we want to restore the entire farm or do we want to restore certain components? I'll say the entire farm. Next. And then the final step is to select the restore options. And the main thing is under restore options, to restore a farm with the same computer names, web application names, database servers, those in the backup farm, select same configuration. To restore the farm with a different computer names, then you wanna go ahead and do a new configuration. Okay, so if I wanted everything to be stored exactly the same way, I would just say same configuration. And it says warning, all selected components will be overwritten. Are you sure you want this to be the case? I click okay. And then I would click start restore. Now I will tell you, I am not gonna do the restore. And that is because this is the kind of thing that can completely create havoc on a system when you're just doing it willy nilly like I'm doing here to demonstrate it for you. So I'm gonna hit cancel. I just wanted to show you that that's how you can do backup and restore.